हेलो एवरी वन असलाकुम नमस्ते सत्याल दिस इज अली फ्रॉम खम्म सिटी ऑफ तेलंगाना स्टेट एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू डू फ्लैशिंग फॉर महिंद्रा बोलेरो मैक्सी ट्रक प्लस इन विच वी हैव सेवेंटीन सी फिफ्टी फाइव फोर सिलेंडर ई सी यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ के टी एम बेंच इन विच वी हैव थर्टी टू लाइसेंस and this is the actual bolero maxi truck plus vs4 vehicle in which we have 17c55 four cylinder ecu and this is the so edc 17c55 bosch ecu and in which we have 1767t tricore processor tc 1767 this is the connection diagram to read and write the 17c55 ecu with ktm bench this is a diagram wiring diagram with the help of ktm bench we can directly connect the wires and read and write the ecu without opening the ecu by k tag also we can read and write for in that we have to open the ecu but in this ktm without opening the ecu by connecting the wires externally we can read and write the ecu with the help of ktm bench 32 licenses So according to this one, I connected the wires to 17C55 Bosch ECU, and this is the Bosch ECU EDC 17C55 four cylinder, and this is the connection diagram of KTM, and this is our KTM bench 32 licenses. So now we will write the data. That nothing but we are flashing. flashing the data so here i am opening the application of pcm flash of ktm bench and here click on no don't update the tool and in this one we have to select the family type so 71 bosch so here edc 71 bosch edc 17 so in this one we have tc 1767 tricore processor 17c 1767 processor flash we have flash and eprom two files we have to read and write so here we are selecting flash file then click on the identification button to identify the ecu click on yes would you like to use automatic power yes now the ecu will be identified by our tool so here identification completed we have tc 16 1767 tricor processor in this ecu and now click on three buttons to activate the right option click on that buttons then we have to select the file we have two files eprom file and flash file so select the flash file two files we have to read and write so here we we selected flash file that's why here also we have to select a flash file click on that file flash file and click on open click on open select the file and click on open then the file will be opened like this so in both of the options we have to maintain flash file only then click on write click on write button then here also click on okay automatic power control click on okay check some sir correct continue yes click on yes and here the writing process is started by our ktm bench so this is the flashing flashing is nothing but writing the firmware software firmware software is going to write on our edc that is nothing but flashing that is known as flashing it will take some time so this is the process of flashing by ktm bench we can also flash the files by k tag we can also flash the files by our kmd obd start dp5 and x tool and think or by launch also we can flash the files completed successfully so here writing of flash data is successfully completed 
completed successfully click on ok now select the eprom file that is the security data the security data is stored in eprom file so select eprom eprom at the bottom section again select the file 1767 family 71 Bosch and here also we have to select the eprom file select eprom file then click on open that is the eprom file click on open and now click on write to write the eprom file it will take very little time to write the eprom file why because it is very smaller file comparing with flash file so click on ok no need to change any selections click on ok then the file will be written on the ECU within a sec within seconds why because eprom file is very smaller file than flash file so successfully completed so click on ok by our KDM bench ok so this is the procedure completed successfully this is the procedure to flash the files of uh, Bosch EDC 17C55 with the help of KTM bench and one more thing to note down here if we want to if we wrote if we write the data from the same ECU of the vehicle then no need to do any uh, emo synchronization or any key programming by writing the data we can start the vehicle directly if we write the data if we take the data from other vehicle other ECU then we have to then we have to uh, sync the ECM and immobilizer after that we have to do key programming then only the vehicle will be started so in this case I take the data from other vehicle flash data and EEPROM data from other vehicle that's why we have to sync the immobilizer and ECU then after we have to do all glass key programming then only the vehicle will be started and after emo synchronization and key programming we are going to start the vehicle so here we did with Obristar KMD DP5 so here I am testing the vehicle to start, I am trying to start the vehicle here the vehicle got started so we successfully flash the data with the help of KTM bench and DP5 and thank you very much for watching this video